Hello everyone, this is Prashant. Welcome to my channel. So, uh, we are already doing the Playwright Python series. Today is the fourth day. Uh, previously, we saw how to type in text box, uh, button, those things using CSS and XPath. Today, we are going to see the another important like topic, like drop down. So, what is a drop down basically? So, a drop down is when I click kind of any option, it will give the list of options. From this, I need to select one. So, this is why we called as a drop down okay in drop down there are two kind of drop downs one is select drop down and one is kind of bootstrap drop down today we are going to see the select drop down if you are missing any export related css now watch the previous day video uh, from there you can understand those things right now we are focused on the only the drop downs okay so first of all we want to like see the web element so i am right clicking on this page clicking on the inspect in the option okay so that drop down will open so I need to first thing what we need to click on the arrow mark after that we need to inspect so right now I'm going to use the skill drop down when I click on the skill drop down see here he, here the code got highlighted uh, see this the code got highlighted in the blue color okay so see the tag name what is the tag name it is called select tag so that's why we are calling this drop down as select drop down in the interview that I will ask you what are the drop downs you know there are two kind of drop down one is select drop down one another is kind of bootstrap okay so right now we are going to see this select drop down so right now i'm going to the code we will start the one by one by code and last class uh, i saw one of the comment like one of the uh, our followers asking please put the code in the description so from today onwards i will paste this code in the description you guys can get it even this page url also I will give in the description okay so as usual need to start with the new file I'm going to right click on the project going to new python file this is drop down I'm giving like drop down um, select like that is a topic so as usual we need to use from uh, playwright dot sync api import sync playwright so in this we write the method with I will maximize little you guys able to visible okay right now we are able to visible now with with sync play right as a p and the first one what's the first thing we need to use the browser we need to create a browser we are all browser in this browser we are going to use the p dot chrome browser so that chrome browser should be headless equal to chrome browser Again, I will do that wrong. Chrome dot launch. In the launch, I need to mention this is the headless mode, and this should be false because the screen should be visible for me. After that, I need to create a page from this browser dot new page. Next thing is I need to go to the URL. So go to function. I want to pass this URL. I'm copying this URL, and I am pasting it. So basic setups this we do daily basis this entire six lines of code we do daily so this is common okay so write down that today's topic is select drop down okay for this first step is find the select location so we need to find the location so so what is the location this is the location i highlighted now previously so this is the location like the select tag bar exactly so if you guys see if i open this select i am clicking this open arrow see this it's opening the entire in this there are so many options like select skills adobe i designs adobe photoshop analytics there are so many options are showing in this drop down so first of all I want to find the location of this select so for this select I'm going to create a variable like like select drop down so this is the variable like locator variable so as usual we need to use here we need to use the Kodi selector no, okay for this so I need to write xpath first thing you need to do a control f or command f so it will open this prompt in this place it will open this prompt so you guys tell me 
how to find this export for the select so we have a type we have a class we have a id ng module and it these are the attributes of this web element so we have id so that is a smart thing so i'm going to create export using id so what the syntax double slash tag name what is the tag name select is the tag name square bracket at id equal to in double quotation you need to paste the value what is the value skills is the value for id okay see here see clearly yesterday in the last class only last video only we saw the xpath so double slash tag name select as a tag name and i'm using the id attribute that's why i put at id and what is the value the value is skills i am putting in this okay so this is the xpath for this and see this it's one of one two okay i'm copying this and pasting it right now i find at the location next step step 2 into select the option so right now we have a list of options i need to select one so how to select it see this this is the drop down variable dot select option so we need to use a select option so in this i'm going to use a label so what is the use of label now so to syndicate the which text suppose in this i want to select art design so that is the option i want to select so i need to copy the art design the entire text and in the label i want to pass that so simple no i didn't do anything simply i copied the text what i want to select so this is the drop down i am storing in a variable and using that variable i'm selecting one option in that list so i'm copying the array design okay so so simple no so i'm putting one small weight to make uh, the page uh, weight so i'm giving 5000 second that means 5 seconds okay so because of the milliseconds so i'm launching this browser so see it clearly in the skills drop down see this the art design was selected in a, in a fraction of second right so that is the cool thing of playwright it is very faster actually okay so this is the one so if anyone studying selenium and coming na this is the way of finding this selector next thing is doing the using that select drop down select the option this is a normal selenium mode but playwright is too smarter it will reduce the things little like uh, like in shorter manner i will show that as well so what is doing na so i'm commenting this entire part actually uh, i'm commented it so instead of doing this first storing and using playwright is telling hey man you don't need to worry you can directly page dot select option you can directly select option in this you want to do two section one section you want to give the which selector you want to select already we have the export of select next option you can need to give which value you want to select so i want this time i am selecting autocad i am copying the autocad and pasting here see here so first option first parameter i want to pass the locator like where the location for the select tag okay next option which one of the option we need to select so so, so simple na last time we have two option two actions one time we want to store after the storing using that we can select this is a old fashion okay but uh, playwright is making everything a very very simple and short format another thing is a python the python python is like a most easiest language to work on like all as short 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 cuts see this it's launched the browser see this autocad is selected in the drop down okay so cool very cool na so this is a best thing of uh uh what to say best thing of uh, a play ride with python okay uh this is the small video drop down uh, because yesterday we have very big video or the expert is very big video eh? so this is a very shorter 10 minutes video so i will paste this entire code in the description simply copy paste it in any of the python file and run it simply if you are facing any issue please put in the comment i will help you moreover and in replying there itself even one of my, one friend was 
messaged me in the mail actually the biggest description with so many questions i didn't get a time for him uh, and the, this weekend i'm planning to reply for him okay because he asked so many questions in the in the previous series actually so if you guys think any issues please let me know if you like the video please like and subscribe and uh, we'll see the next video so in the next video we will see the uh, like on another interesting topic thanks